This video is about movement. There are many different ways to capture movement in a painting or a drawing. This method is going to work a little bit like a time lapse. Paper, ink, brushes. The difficulty is clear. Lots of people, a lot of movement. Figures moving towards you or away from you. You're going to have to invent a strategy to cope with this. Here's a hint. Look at everyone's eye level. Well, most people's. It's constant. It's a horizontal line. I'm taping a sheet of paper to the wall. It's very windy. The wind's fine, but there's no point in working from a photo with this one. A horizontal line clearly marks out eye level. So, simply for each person, just draw one line. Right, stop. That's one line. Starting at the head, at eye level. Use different pressure on the brush to try to represent one person with a single vertical line. Keep going. Keep adding people. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake. Any mistakes will soon dissolve into the background. But do keep looking. When you're looking, try and figure out where that single person is going to be, how big they're going to be, and where you're going to place them on your sheet of paper. Set yourself a target of maybe 100 or 150 figures. You'll find that the ink will start to overlap. What this will then describe is figures occupying the space that other figures have been in, and this will create a real sense of movement. People moving away or towards you. Be deliberate and descriptive with the marks you make. Thanks for watching Extraordinary Made Ordinary. If you like the channel, then please click here. If you want to see another video about painting and drawing, then please click here. I didn't think there was much point in showing off my painting or drawing skills. There's plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to draw a perfect face, a perfect eye, a perfect glass, whatever it is. What I want to do here is to take things apart, simplify what you're looking at and to make the extraordinary a little bit more ordinary and a little bit more easy to understand. So hopefully it will help your drawing skills and it will make your paintings and drawings a lot better. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.